हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल ड्रॉप अ लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट दिस इज श्री विष्णु आर्ट प्रेस पब्लिकेशंस एक्सरसाइज नंबर सेवन एंड एट ऑन द स्पीड ऑफ नाइंटी वर्ड्स पर मिनट स्टार्ट इन द सर्किम स्टांसिस we are inclined to set aside and we accordingly set aside the direction of the learned single judge contained in para 4 of the impugned order dated 27 11 calling for the personal presence of the legal remembrancer principal secretary law and the chief secretary for appearance before the court on 12 12 2013 having said this it is also necessary to appreciate the anguish which is contained in the order of the learned single judge dated 27 11 2013 which reflects the state of affairs in regard to the manner in which litigation involving the state is conducted before the high court the state is undoubtedly the largest litigant the areas before the court reflect a situation where the state has not taken serious and proactive measures to control and streamline litigation involving the government in the high court in order to achieve the goals stated in the national litigation policy it is necessary for the state government to have a careful and serious look into the question relating to the conduct of litigation on behalf of the state in the high court and other courts we are conscious of the fact that such problem cannot be solved overnight and would require a careful and well structured solution the filing of appeals by the state the conduct of proceedings in court making available proper instructions to panel counsel of the government and the filing of affidavits on time are some of the matters which must engage serious attention on the part of the state government a system will have to be evolved by which directions of the court in regard to the conduct of the proceedings and for filing affidavits are communicated at the earliest so that instructions are made available to standing counsel for filing affidavits otherwise the matters remain pending for an inordinately long period of time and interim orders which may ultimately affect the interest of the state have to be passed only because of the absence of adequate instructions to the learned standing counsel appearing on behalf of the state the facilities and infrastructure available for counsel for the state need to be upgraded we have no doubt that these issues will engage the attention of the state at the highest level and accordingly we would request the chief secretary of the state with the assistance of the principal secretary law and other senior officers of the state government to have a comprehensive analysis made 
that would facilitate the conduct of litigation by the state in an efficient and time bound manner courts have been liberal in condoning the delay on the part of the state in filing appeals being conscious of the fact that bureaucratic delays are often involved in the process of decision making however we must emphasize that there should be no laxity in compliance of the directions of the court once a direction is issued by the court setting a time schedule for filing an affidavit this direction must be complied with further the reference of such dispute is to be made on such opinion being formed by the government on the basis of the material placed before it in appropriate cases even without waiting for the conciliation report the state government can at any time refer a dispute which is existing or is apprehended for adjudication the decisions of the supreme court further indicates that where there has been delay in raising a dispute but where the dispute was existing the labor court or the tribunal while considering the matter could mold the relief and deny reinstatement or back wages as the case may be keeping in mind the delay in raising the dispute as a mitigating circumstance further the supreme court has also held that old and stale dispute should not be referred as it is not expedient to do so and that certain matters should come to a rest so that industrial peace and harmony is maintained and parties are not embroiled in litigating an old and stale dispute the supreme court was clear in indicating that where no industrial dispute existed or was apprehended the question of referring such old and stale dispute could not arise in the light of the aforesaid the court finds that in the instant case the services of the workman was terminated in the year 1982 The workman filed a case in the civil court and got an ex parte decree which was subsequently set aside in the year 1984 upon an application for recall being filed by the employers The workman did not stir in the matter for 22 years and only filed an application in the year 2004 where in the state government declined to refer the dispute holding it to be inexpedient on account of the considerable delay the appeal was rejected the review application was again rejected and on the fourth occasion the state government referred the dispute the court upon perusal of the affidavits filed in the present writ petition finds that the workman after the dismissal of his case before the civil court in 1984 did not stir in the matter nor pursued his remedy and only filed an application in year 
there is no explanation on behalf of the workman as to what was he doing during this period from 1984 to 2004 the court further finds that when the state government rejected the plea of the workman on three occasion there was no material before the state government to indicate that an industrial dispute was existing or was apprehended in the instant case the court finds that not only it is an old and stale dispute the workman did not stir in the matter nor the court finds that there is anything on record to indicate that there was substantial material before the state government to indicate that an industrial dispute existed or was apprehended coupled with the fact that the state government itself declined to refer the dispute on three earlier occasions as being inexpedient